Welcome to Tesla Info and today is a quick one because there's basically not much in the release. So we're going to have a quick look at release 2022.44.2. No idea what happened to 44.1, it never seemed to appear. Anyway, we're just having a quick look in our car. You can see that it's on 44.2. And then we'll just have a quick look at the release notes as well. And this is a European car, so only two of the release notes appear. Um, we get to see the Thai language, which isn't that useful in Europe unless you're a Thai person, and the changes to sentry mode. Okay, let's have a quick look at the sentry mode changes. Um, I'm going to zoom in on a couple of screenshots here. So the changes really boil down to being able to change the clip length um, and also to basically turn off the cameras so it only uses the internal uh, sensors for detection of, a, of an event that's worth recording. One thing to be mindful is the default setting after the update is actually to not have the cameras turned on. So if you're a big sentry mode user then that's worth having a look at. Other changes, well, in, in a few countries which haven't had it already, they've now got the new energy screen. I think this is mainly Hong Kong uh, and we've got a separate video which we'll link to to take you through details of that if that's new to you. Um, and the final change that we're aware of so far is changes to the seatbelt pre-tensioning in the uh, milliseconds before a car accident. That's not something really we can show but it's, uh, it's a detail which actually should aid safety so welcome nonetheless. Um, that's it, told you it'd be a short one um, but that's all we know so far about 44.2. See you next time.